What's the wattage? Is it like we're legally six and a half watts? This is our live broadcast booth. Hello. Michelle, this is organic. Hey, it's Michelle. Hi, organic. Hi. <laughs> um, this is where we do everything live. Right now, there's a jazz show till three. Then at three, I'm supposed to do it, but I'm interviewing you guys. But there's an alternative rock show, and that's where you guys have been put into rotation. Oh, that's cool. just a computer picks, spits out random songs. Right, right. Yeah, sweet. So you've been cataloged, you've been put in there. So sweet. Once or twice a month, you probably get played. Nice, cool. I'm Justin Burroughs for CKVI Radio. I'm sitting with the band Organic today. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time to speak with me. Uh, the first question I have for you today has to do with your unique name. Why the name Organic? We decided to name the band Organic. We've actually been in bands previous together and uh, we went through a period where we kind of wanted to change uh, the focus of our music and stuff so we decided to change the name of our band. Uh, the band consists of uh, four members and we're all brothers, so that's the first sort of organic element. Uh, the second thing would be the type of music we do, which is very R&B, soul, hip-hop kind of music, uh, usually involves a lot of computers, a lot of drum machines, uh, samples uh, uh, most of the time, and we create all of our own music in ourselves. We write, we compose, um, perform and play, uh, and record all stuff ourselves so it's, it's a bit more of an organic approach uh, as opposed to sampling. Now how long have you guys been together? We all are all our brothers so we have been playing music together uh, for almost uh, two decades uh, but the band Organic has been around since about the year 2000. So you've been playing together for about seven years uh, who have you worked with during your time? I have Checkmate and Concise, Kia Kadiri, Kurt, you can call him Case Dad. It's Shy, Shy Love, she's actually from Toronto. What was the common element that brought all you guys together? Well, we were kind of brought together genetically, so to speak. <laughs> um, but, you know, early on, uh, Dee started playing guitar when he was probably about seven or so, seven or eight. And uh, obviously, you know, the rest of us uh, wanted to get in on the action. You know, uh, so we all kind of hopped on instruments. Um, and quite early, we actually, you know, got on different instruments so as to make, uh, a, you know, a complete band within within our family. Uh, and as young as uh, I was probably about eight when I joined my first band, and I've been in bands ever since. Going on to your music a little bit, I've noticed that some of your songs have the kind of funky kind of theme to them. Also, there's a hint of some R&B and hip hop. Uh, what do you think your genre is? It's kind of a hard question. Uh, when people ask, I usually tell them to just listen and make their own judgment. Um, you know, alternative rock is one way uh, to describe it. Uh, we've been called pop, you know, hip hop. It's it's basically just just a melange of of all different types of American music. How can people in Kingston get their hands on some of your music? Well, part of our whole um, sustainable theme is to try to avoid uh, producing CDs. Um, you know, just to cut down on plastic products. So we have our songs on iTunes for people to go uh, online and, and download them. So that's the way that we prefer to distribute our songs. At least for now, we're not we're not totally against having CDs in stores. Although we do feel that CDs, you know, as a means of media, are are definitely sort of on their way out. Um, but we and we do sell CDs when we're traveling across because there are people that don't have the internet and don't have access to that. Um, but we really encourage people, you know, um, to get it online uh, in a digital form to, cu to cut down on the packaging. Uh, downloading music legally is getting more and more popular these days with uh, programs such as LimeWire and Cavill and stuff. Uh, I'm sure your music has been downloading, been downloaded without your permission. Uh, what is your take on pirated download? Well, we really think, um, you know, the whole music industry has changed. Um, it used to be based around record sales and basically selling your song. But now with, with the digital means, uh, I mean, it, it just happens. There's no real way to control people and, and have them not download it illegally. So you kind of just got to outsmart them and uh, go to other means like, uh, you know, selling merchandise. You can't really download a t-shirt. And you also can't download a live performance, uh, which is one thing that we really focus on is, is having a, a good live performance. So people will pay to come out and see you that way, even if they do illegally download your songs. Yeah. Now, the band has been touring across Canada lately. Uh, touring can be very difficult when it's only four people. Um, 
what are some of the challenges you faced while touring? I'd say I think the biggest challenge with Canada is just how fast it is and how much space there is between all the cities. Now you have made a commitment to help reduce your environmental impact uh, through such measures as making merchandise out of bamboo and distributing your music digitally. How do you feel the individual can make a difference? I'd say the most important thing to do is like start small, like look at yourself. We were talking before about like awareness and it seems everybody's aware now that there are problems uh, with uh, the way things are, are being run. Um, and uh, it's really up to everyone because you know a lot of people can have the attitude that it's such a huge problem, there's nothing they can do, they're really despondent about about how big the problem really is. So. Starting with like the small like little things, you know, bring bring a cloth bag to uh, to grocery shop, or even a duffel bag if you use as many groceries as we do. Um, you know, not everyone can afford like a hybrid car, or not everyone can you know afford the luck the, the luxury of a lot of things that are expensive that will lower like your carbon footprint. But you really got to focus on yourself and do everything that you can to to help the problem. And the little things really do add up. How do you get this message of change across to your fans? Well, as I mean, as as artists, people are going to listen to our music, and they're going to do, you know, they're going to take it for whatever they want to take it. As I mean, a lot of people, they just like to listen to music. A lot of people like to, you know, party to our music. A lot of people like to really get in and listen to the words and stuff. So, but regardless, there's attention on us because of what we do uh, as artists, and so with that attention, we would like to present messages as well as good times and good vibes and stuff um, and it's really our our opportunity and uh, our commitment to to bring some sort of message because you know especially pop music these days I mean there's very little it's it's all it's all it's all trash it's all look who's pregnant look who's DUI you know it's there's got to be there's got to be more important things to focus on uh, so we feel it's our responsibility. Yeah, we're not necessarily going to write a song about global warming, but we are going to use our um, position of you know, power and influence uh, to bring these messages across. Even as far, as far as role models are concerned, I mean, we're not, we're not anywhere near like Mother Teresa over here or anything, but at the same time, you know, we can show that, that, that you, can, you can still be a person, you can still have fun, you can still be artistic and uh, you know do what you love like we do, but you know some kind of deeper purpose or like meaning is probably not such a bad idea. Uh, what is the best experience you've had in the seven years of being together? Well, I'd say the the current one is great. Um, you know we've pretty much stayed in Vancouver uh, our whole lives, even before we formed Organic, and uh, just the opportunity to get on a bus and go across the country and meet new people and and play for a bunch of different crowds and do things like this, radio interviews, it's, it's really been the most rewarding experience for us. Uh, it's something we've definitely earned. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't really been a vacation by any means. No, no. There's definitely been like ups and downs and, you know, the actual challenge aspect of it is actually, uh, you know, one of the most intriguing parts. But it really feels like now we're actually kind of moving things forward and really, you know, learning what we need to do to actually t take our band to the next level. I mean, not a lot of, we've never been out here, so not a lot of people knew us, and we've made a lot of new fans and new connections being out here. Um, I think being a band, especially a band with like a message, it, traveling is definitely the, the most important thing that we can do. And finally, uh, where do you see organic in 10 years? Um, well, it's out for the world. It's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, well, we definitely have, you know, high expectations. Uh, I don't think we'll ever really be satisfied in, until, you know, we're world renowned. Um, so hopefully just, you know, traveling, still making music, still doing our thing, um, taking it worldwide for sure. Yeah, I'd say I would say known worldwide for more than just uh, for more than just our, our good music. music. Um, for for being advocates, for being uh, you know, leaders. Um, that's an edit. This guy I, might even be president. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's the thing. See, in in this day and age, politicians aren't aren't leaders. You know, yeah. and just because you're they in politics be doesn't puppets, mean. So. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I'm not sure that I'll ever go go prime minister or president, <laughs> but but being a being a leader, I'd say, would be a good goal for the next ten years. You're on CKBI 91.9 FM, The Cave. I'm Justin Burroughs. Have a wonderful day.